Hey guys, how's it going? This is George from Teclono.com. Back in another video. Hope you guys are keeping well. And in this video, we're going to have a look at this multi port USB Type C hub, which you can use for your computer, especially if you have a MacBook, where we all know that MacBooks only come with USB Type C nowadays. So let's take a look. So this product comes from a company called Awesome. It's not awesome as your first instinct will probably tell you, it's pronounced as awesome. And this USB hub comes with a lot of features, like a lot of USB ports, as you can see here. You can even plug in your headphones as well. So, and as you can see here, some of, some of the highlights of the features, but we're gonna have a look at them in details once we open up. Now you may be wondering how much does this thing cost? It's about 113 bucks, but at the time of the of recording of this video, there's a 40% discount, bringing the price all the way down to 68 bucks. And if you want to see all the technical features, like in details, in bullet points, which is gonna make it a lot easier to understand, then it's definitely worth to head over on my website with link down in the description and read the review as well. So let's go back to the video. So let's go ahead and open the box. As you can see, nicely slides. Just like that, put it on the side. Gonna open it up. And once you open up, this is it's gonna be the the adapter. So as you can see, quite big, like quite big inside. I'm just gonna put like my fingers, my you know, hands so you can see how big this is. It's actually more than one and a half of my palms, as you can see, quite big. And here are all the parts as you can see. Let's see what else is in the box. So you also get a cable, so let's put it out. It's like this, just one cable. And the size is slightly longer than the actual adapter. So let's go ahead and see what else is in the box. As you can see, we have some leaflets, you know, thank you leaflet. And of course we have the user guide. So this is the adapter and as you can see it has 12 ports so let's have a look at them one by one so as you can see on the on the far on the far right you have a one headphone jack so that means you can plug in your headphones and plug your baby music instead of using bluetooth for your computer and in most cases you're not going to have a headphone jack on your on your laptop next we have of course one sd card and one micro sd card uh, slot uh, three usb 2.0 slots and two USB 3.1 slots. These are going to be the ones we're going to use, which you're going to be using mostly. But in case you have any other USBs, these are going to be the maximum uh, uh, speed they can support. Of course, it brings back the Ethernet cable. So if you haven't had an, if you haven't seen an Ethernet cable for a while and you have one lying around in your house, that's there we go. Like this is going to help you a lot. And of course, supports up to five uh, gigabits per second. VGA and HDMI ports, you're most likely not going to be using VGAs right now, but you know, just like me, I like experimenting, so I might use it. Uh, HDMI, this is where it supports up to 4K uh, and external monitors, a headphone jack, and of course, you have the USB Type-C. So as you can see, you get your, your USB Type-C back. But one thing I would like to mention is that if you plug more devices on the, onto the adapter and you also plug a USB Type-C, you're not going to get the full speed potential of that USB Type-C because you're probably going to be using everything at the same time. So say that you plug in a mouse, you plug in a keyboard, an SD card, you plug in a, an Ethernet cable, you know, external monitor. So all of this is going to consume a lot of power from your computer, from your laptop. And it all actually can work with a single USB Type-C, which you just connected to your computer. So I'm just going to want to show you that this is where you, this is where you actually plug in this cable so let's put it in here have to hear the click in order to make sure that it's stabilized and this is how you connect it so all the work all this hard work has been done with one usb type c and this is something that i'm very actually interested to test it out like how many devices can it handle so let's go ahead and take a look okay so as you can see we have quite a lot of stuff over here to have to to go ahead and and, uh, and use and as you can see over here this is my 
my MacBook Pro. And if you're wondering why the screen is not open, it's because the, my screen actually doesn't work for some reason. I was, I was working and then suddenly the screen, poof, just turned black. So that's why I need an external monitor, which we're also gonna include in the game. So as you can see, we have a lot of devices over here to test. We have, you know, a couple of phones. We have uh, storage devices, USB, SD cards, and you name it. Uh, a camera, of course, you need a camera for your meetings, using Zoom, of course. Microphones, keyboards, and mice, and of course, a 1080p monitor. This is a typical monitor that you're gonna see in every household. So pretty typical items, like almost, you know, most people are gonna have, uh, are gonna have these items. And so that's why I, I made sure to include only items that you guys probably gonna have in your in your home. So let's go ahead and start with the most basic. So first of all, we're gonna go ahead and uh, connect the, the adapter with my computer. And as you can see, there is a red light over here indicating that the, just gonna show you. So as you can see, there's a blue light over here. I think, I don't know if it's visible. Okay, so the first thing you typically gonna do, you wanna see some colors, and of course we're gonna go ahead and connect the, the monitor in the beginning so we can see what's going on. Okay, so we can see something that's very cool. And of course, next the next thing you're gonna do is you know plug in the keyboard. So we have uh, this is the keyboard USB. So and I think this is a USB 2.0. I cannot, I don't think it can stand most, it can accept uh, higher speeds. So let's go ahead and connect it to one of the uh, 2.0 uh, ports. Just gonna put it over here. Sadly, my uh, desk is very messy with all this stuff. So I hope, you'll, I hope you'll be able to see what's going on. I'm gonna also plug in the mouse. Again, at the same uh, port. Can use my mouse right here. Just gonna close these down, and let me just. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'll show you that the keyboard works. Just gonna type text edit, and there we go. So keyboard works, mouse works, nothing. So no delays, no no problems like that. And next, of course, I'm gonna go ahead and connect the microphone. So that's the USB for the microphone. Just gonna plug it in. Again, on the USB 2.0 port. All right, and it looks like the microphone is being recognized. Next, we're gonna go ahead and uh, connect the camera. So, actually, not really a camera, but a webcam. And uh, since we don't have any more uh, 2.0 ports, we're just gonna go ahead and connect it on the USB on uh, USB 3. Let's put this over here. All right. And now we're gonna, and as you can see, the camera is turned on, so it, uh, so the camera works. The microphone works. I just put turn on and turn off. So all this device works. And what I'm gonna do, of course, I kind of want to transfer some data. So I'm gonna, so this is the USB 3. Point oh, so I'm gonna connect it on here and see whether they recognize it. All right, so you can see my USB is being recognized. So as you can see, I don't know if you can see it, but. There is a, a flashing light over there. A blue flashing light blue over there. Seems like it stopped. So I'm just gonna open it up. And as you can see, I only have a for library over there. So you know, just typical, you know, typical USB. Um, I wanna connect and then next I have an SD card. I have some photos I want to transfer from my camera. So let's go ahead and put that in. All right. I uh, should show up my SD card soon. Okay, looks like my SD card is also connected. Just gonna tap it in and, you know, photos and, you know, random stuff I have. So, so as you can see, my mouse works, the keyboard works. I move with the keyboard, so with the keys to different shortcut, 
it works very well. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and test some transferring speeds between my computer and some of my connected device. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and transfer photos and media, which is nothing else than just a bunch of you know videos that I have on my on my on my computer, just you know to to create um, a directory which is about four gigabytes of storage, and also I have photos, some for random photos, making up about four hundred megabytes. And why I have four gigabyte mega, right? And why do I have two different directories? Is because my personal USB only has around six hundred megabytes of free space. So just just to be able to fit all those all this stuff in it, and uh, we're gonna use my SD card, which is called No Name, and which is about four and a half gigabytes of storage. So as you guessed, we're gonna transfer media to No Name, and we're gonna transfer photos into George's USB. So let's go ahead and do this right now. And at the same time of transferring, I will actually disconnect my microphone because, as you guess, I don't use it, and plug in my uh, iPhone six. So I'm gonna go ahead and pre pretend I'm charging iPhone 6 while transferring the data. Let's go ahead and do this at the same time. So no name, photos, and just quickly gonna disconnect my microphone and plug in quickly my phone. All right, so my phone is charging, and as you can see, the job is still being done. So as you can see, you know, around 20 to 15 seconds for, for photos being transferred to George's USB. Now we're waiting for no name to be transferred. And I kind of like, you know, quickly move, move my mouse, use the keyboard, just gonna use the keyboard that, you know, just move between different shortcuts, uh, open no name. While the job is being done, have some photos over here. Let me just open the folder. You know, so of course, like the the speed of seeing this data is gonna be slower than you know what because you know data has been transferred at the same time. And here we have all the screenshots or photos, whatever they are. Okay, and the process, the transfer is right now done. So as you can see, I try to test all those devices. So so I move the phone, I you know switch my microphone with my phone, and uh, try to do all the transfer and and all the other devices still actually operate. Now, one thing that I would like to I would like to mention is that also what Awesome says as well is that if you experience any you know slowdown, some devices, some devices seem to be some some devices seem to not work properly. Now, please make sure that you disconnect the devices that you don't need. So, for example, in my case, I don't need the camera, and also I don't need the the microphone. So, I'm just going to go ahead and disconnect those as well. So now we're done with the testing, but I want to stress things up. I want to go ahead and connect my external external storage device and actually use this to you know do back, to store my backups and everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, connect it to my to the hub. Now again, I'm not expecting that this is gonna actually work. I'm expecting the hub to crash or you know reboot or whatever. So let's see how it's gonna behave. And as uh, and as and as expected, the hub actually. Reset it now. Why this? Why this is? Is because this is a USB C. So this actually consumes a lot of power straight from the hub. And as you can see, all these devices were disconnected and had to reconnect again because, uh, as I, as I expected, the hub had to reconnect. And now we're gonna go ahead and uh, delete the media folder on both of these. Just gonna go ahead and delete it. Just do, doing some random job. And I'm uh, gonna go ahead and transfer them again. Now, again, this is beyond the expectations, beyond the scope of what of what um, uh, the uh, of the test. But we're just gonna see how how much it can handle. Transfer that to no name. We're just gonna move on this on George's USB again the same. And I'm gonna actually do something extra. I'm gonna move media on Windows Field, which is just gonna replace it which is this storage device. And as you can see, it actually works very well. Like, as you can see, all of them are being transferred. As you can see here, I'm just gonna zoom in here. And then you saw everything were able to be transferred. As you can see right now, it did some uh, a reboot. Now, this is not good because 
uh, the reboot happened while um, the files were being transferred on my SD card. So you should never do that because it can actually, you know, cause some corruption on your data. So this is so this process can be very dangerous for your data. So that's why I highly, highly encourage you to only have one device at most connected with the, the with the hub. And right now I'm gonna do something different. Again, this is beyond the scope. I'm just gonna disconnect, disconnect my external, external hard drive and disconnect. I connected with a USB, uh, USB C to USB, uh, to USB. I think this is USB 2.0. So just gonna go ahead and uh, actually, which one I'm gonna remove? I'm gonna remove the camera. So this is the camera because, as you guys said, I don't use the camera. I'm gonna reconnect again. And now again. Same formula, just gonna move on all these different files onto those different storage devices. All right, so as you can see, it does like, you know, uh, continuous reboots. So that means it cannot handle any, so it cannot handle those three devices. It's kind of weird because earlier it did handle those, right on does. I'm just gonna quickly disconnect my uh, the storage device because it's not good. That's it's not healthy for the for the devices that's doing all those rebooting stuff. So this is again beyond the test. It's I'm not expecting. I wasn't expecting from the beginning for all these devices to work at the same time. So that's a good lesson. That's a good lesson to see what how much it can handle. So again, if you're using a USB. If you use an external hard drive which has type USB Type C, make sure that this is the only device is connected, one device connected to the hub and nothing else. Other than, of course, your keyboard, your mouse, your microphone, and the camera. Maybe you can handle those, but not, but won't be able to handle any more than that. And of course, that brings to the end of this video. Now, again, you can purchase it 40, with 40% 40 discount from the time making this video on the official website of. Awesome, and uh, and one more thing I would like to say as a, as a feedback to Awesome is that it would be very cool if there was a longer cable. Like for example, in my case, uh, because I don't have a screen, I don't really want to use my computer in in this position because it can actually consume a lot of uh, space on my desk. So I kind of so I kind of try to use my computer like below my desk. Like I'm just gonna show you briefly. So. So just below, just below over there, just below over there, because it, so, so I can, because this screen of my laptop doesn't work. So it would be nice if there was an extension which can extend the cable into about say one meter. And uh, if you really want something like that, then I have a link down in the description, but overall it's a very good product. I really like it. And I think I'm going to be using it for my day to day basis. And that brings me to this video. So thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to hit the like button. Let me know what you think about this product and which one was your actually favorite feature. And of course, don't forget to share to your friends if they have so many devices. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and notification bell right next to it in order to receive my latest updates. Thanks for watching. As always, I'm going to see you in my next video.